Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm from Newcastle in the northeast of England. I've been in Ghana for four weeks now after graduating from Newcastle University in July. Hi, my name is Jessie. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri in America and I'm a nursing student. Hi, I'm Susie Simpson and I'm from Newcastle in England. I've just graduated from Newcastle University studying fine art. I'm 22 years old and I'm volunteering in Ghana in the village of Lume building. Sometimes you just wander around the market and, and greet people and tell them where you're from. You can't walk down the sidewalk without people wanting to ask you where you're from or have a conversation really being responsive to what's going on in placement. It seems like there's something new happening every day, so um, making sure that you're always ready to try the new, the next um, big thing, and um, and really getting stuck in to everything. Get stuck in, it's been great. Getting involved with all the locals and living within a community, and over the time you really feel comfortable and everyone's actually made. It's hard work, sweaty work. Um, but it's really, really good, very satisfying and good to watch. Our weekends off, we've spent most of them traveling. We have gone to Lee Waterfalls. Um, they're a waterfall about two, three hours away. We went to Tafia Tome Monkey Sanctuary to go see the monkeys and feed them bananas. Um, go and chill out and dance and play cards and stuff. Or we've been on walks. I caught him up the up the mountain and seen the views all around, looked over to the other villages. We went to a place called Big Millie's, which was um, like a beach club, and we went to the Monkey Sanctuary, and there's just so much to do on your weekends here, so I've had a great time. Uh, we spent one of our weekends off at the beach. It was the first time I ever saw the ocean, and we went for a bonfire at night, and the locals, the Ghanaians, they came out with drums and traditional dresses and sang and danced for us. There's a lot of rice and pastas and local vegetables, so you get to try everything, but nothing too crazy to mess up your insides. You can pretty much handle all the food here and it tastes good. We have breakfast and lunch and dinner together, so we like to chat on holiday and have fun. My overall impression of Ghana is that they are very, very outgoing and curious, but you only get what you give, so if you are very, very friendly and outgoing, it'll be the best experience of your life. Cracking, I love it. Very friendly, very hospitable. Um, but they laugh a lot. Um, it's great, really good, hot as well. And it's the rainy season, so it's just gonna get hot. Great fun. <laughs> when you came to the country for the first time, I'd never been to Africa before, and I was a bit sort of culturally shocked, but the crew make that um, transition really easy so you settle in really quickly and the kids are all around and the ladies and the men of the village and they all get stuck in as well so it's gen the, the whole day is just full of planning and bounty. I chose Mad Venture because I'd heard through a friend uh, it was a good organization to travel through they took care of you and you got your weekends free she spent two months in Tanzania and said it was the best organization she traveled with a local company for me and it struck me that they were more personally involved in some of the projects than some other companies I'd heard about. They were really helpful on the phone and um, sent me all the information and it was also recommended by a friend. So. My experience with Madventure has been fantastic, the best cultural experience I've had of my life. <laughs>